Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Well, some changes here. We've been having to fight this battle of drought status across the valley for some time now, but Look at this. This just came out today. Now, this is based on information through Tuesday. Does not include the heavy rain that we just got. But there you go. Nobody in the viewing area now listed in any type of a drought status, even abnormally dry. So, drought status is over, and we got some pretty hefty rain during the last 24 hours. 60 the high today, 52 the low. Again, temperatures didn't move a whole lot because of the thick cloud cover. Back in 1930 on this day, we hit 91 for the record high, how about that? Rainfall to station after midnight, 0.95. Before midnight, 0.9. So we got about two inches of rain here. The average for the month is 4.8. We're already at 4.47. Some of you have already seen more than your average for the month. Clearly, this is going to be an above normal month with precipitation, something we haven't seen much of here in the last year and a half. River stage in Terre Haute, no surprise here, 18.7 feet and rising with the recent heavy rain across the area. So here's what we're looking at then. Rain is going to be ending by tomorrow morning. It's going to be windy, but a really nice weekend, and it gets stormy next week. We've got to watch about Tuesday into Thursday, that time period, for the possibility of some stronger storms. It's way too early to get too worried about that. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it as we get closer. 57 right now at the airport in Terre Haute. The pressure, which has been very low all day, is starting to rise now as an area of low pressure moves away from here. Temperatures pretty much in the 50s here. Notice so out here where we've got some 60s. The air's a little drier over here, and there's been at least a little bit of some sunshine. That's what's allowing us to see a little bit of some sunshine and warmer weather out there. Our joint water tower forecast for tonight in Effingham. There will still be some showers around. Temperatures dropping down to about 46. I talked about the drier air on the water vapor satellite. You can see the drier air pushing in. That's a dark shade there across Illinois, and that's allowed the clouds to clear some. And that's allowed the temperatures to be a little bit warmer in our western counties. Around here, though, still a lot of cloud cover. Off to the west, we're starting to see a few more showers moving into the area. And on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, you'll see that off to the west of here. Some of this rain will kind of move into the area during the overnight into the first part of the day tomorrow. I would say by noon, if not before, most of this should be out. We stop the clock for you tomorrow, say around noon, pretty much out of the area, already clearing off now back to the west. And that trend will continue with clearing skies tomorrow night. Saturday looks like a great start to the weekend. I think Sunday will be okay, too. I think there'll be at least some cloud cover. We start evaporating some of this moisture out of the ground, but still a real good weekend shaping up. Then we got to watch next week. So first of all, we'll be looking at late Tuesday. If you watch the clock up here, once we get into Tuesday evening, we start seeing some thunderstorms developing. Right now, for us, it looks like it'll be later in the day Tuesday, Tuesday night. Probably a little bit of a break on part of Wednesday. And then another system we got to watch as we get into about Thursday. So it gets a little bit more active next week. Temperature wise, here's the really warm air we're going to see for a while. A little bit of a cool down here, but it's nothing major. Although I do think a little bit longer term. This is now the 19th to the 25th. So we're going to get a stretch of some really nice warm weather for a while. But it does look like the 19th to the 25th, a little shot of somewhat cooler weather will move back in. Forecast goes like this for tonight. There'll be some scattered showers moving back into the area. 46 for the low. Then during the day tomorrow, showers mostly in the morning. I would say by noon or so, the rain chances are pretty much done. It'll get windy. The temperatures, though, will be a little cooler than where we're going to be. 62 for the daytime high. Then after that, you're going to think summer has moved in when you see this forecast. Daytime high on Saturday, 73. 80 on Sunday. We start at 60 for the low, and then we're right around 80 most of next week. We do have to watch later Tuesday and also on Thursday, possibly some stronger storms. But the bottom line is we've got some real nice warm weather just around the corner. Grant. Thank you, Jesse. Sycamore is making official avenue.